last year's winner, Peter Scott, executive director of Burn Design Lab and CEO of Burn Manufacturing, who will tell you uh, what he's been doing in the years since he was the winner of last year's competition. Peter. Presented, I actually didn't get anything from Herman Miller, so I'm a little bit, I'm, I'm chuffed a bit. But anyways, I'll, I'll get over it. So uh, my name is Peter Scott. I'm the founder of Burn Manufacturing. 20 years ago, I went to Africa, and when I saw deforestation in Africa, in Congo, I got down on my knees and wept. And I said, I'm going to devote my life to save the forests of Africa in the developing world. For the last 15 years, I've been traveling around the, across uh, three different continents, designing fuel-efficient cookstoves. Thanks, Sasha. Designing fuel-efficient cookstoves and training local manufacturers to produce those stoves. Those manufacturers have made more than half a million of my stove design. Last year, I came to Fortune Conference, and my goal was to uh, create a stove army of engineers, researchers, and designers that could locally manufacture my stoves. So really, at that point, it was just, just an idea. Uh, I should warn you that uh, today, my goal here is to recruit you. Normally when I speak, about 10 or 12, 15% of the people quit their day jobs and join me. So if you're interested in like giving up, maybe fracking, you're looking at some new sort of technology, come and join me. But if you're not interested in that, you should leave the room. Otherwise, you'll end up like the people uh, in my organization, like K2, Molex, MSR, Cascade Designs. They quit their jobs and joined my manufacturing team, which now has 160 combined years of design and manufacturing experience, all in the last 12 months. I also created a nonprofit called Burn Design Lab, which now has 15 full-time employees, 10 engineers working round the clock on stoves. And I'm based up in Vashon, Washington, where people do crazy things with their money, like Brian Willman from Microsoft just donated his $2 million machine shop to us. Uh, uh, Bob Powell gave us his $100,000 water jet machine. We designed emission testing systems for our stoves and a state-of-the-art prototype design lab. So why did these people join me? They got it because they connected the dots that fuel, that cooking with biomass, wood, charcoal, dung, shouldn't destroy forests, and it shouldn't kill people. You heard yesterday that two million people, mostly women and children, die every year from burning of biomass and inefficient stoves. Cooking shouldn't kill. We talk about how there's food, water, and shelter is what's needed, but it's really it's cooked food. If there's no fuel, there's no food. It's very, very critical. So my team got together, we went to Central America, where people use massive amounts of firewood to cook every day, and we designed a stove that used 70% less fuel and 99% fewer emissions, all in the last, in the last year. Our stove, uh, the Jico Pole, was selected as one of the four cook stoves that could change the world, and 30,000 of them were made in, uh, in Africa. But our real key task was working on designing a fuel-efficient charcoal stove. Last year when I spoke, I talked about how to make charcoal, it takes seven tons of wood to make one ton of charcoal. And then when you burn that charcoal in inefficient stove, you end up with a, but a system efficiency of 3%. 97% of the energy of the wood is lost. So my team worked night and day on this, designing, iterating different stoves, working with women in the village in Africa until we came up with this, the tank stove. This fuel-efficient stove is a huge hit in Africa. The women use it and say it's like cooking with gas. They also said you could use it in your car while driving. So uh, I don't, don't recommend that, but yes, it is, it is clean burning. So this stove uses 50% less fuel, but it costs $25 from to buy it. You think, that's a lot of money, isn't it, for somebody in Africa? Well, these women spend $300 a year on fuel. So this stove puts $150 in their pocket each year. And you know, when women get money, they don't blow it on hookers and blow, they put it to good worse, but they, they put it to good work. I mean, no offense to men, but really, don't, you're not trusted with the cash. So these women put it into education for, their, education for their children and starting small businesses. This project can put $600 million back into the pans of women. They can pay for the stove in, uh, in eight weeks. And the stove also, of course, because my goal is to save forests, will save 106 million trees over the 10-year life of the project. Now, it's not just one stove. That's the 3 million stoves we're going to manufacture in Kenya uh, in the next 20 years in our modern continuous flow manufacturing facility. Yeah. 
Kenya and Africa are changing. It's the new hot ticket investment. Just ask the Chinese who have invested $50 billion in 2007 alone. So cooking with wood uh, in an inefficient stove produces CO2. When we use a fuel-efficient burn design stove, we produce a lot less CO2, roughly 7.5 tons less CO2. Now, that CO2 has a value on the international carbon market of roughly $60 to $90. So every time someone uses that stove, it makes money, roughly $200 million over a 10-year period. So this is an aid. It's not charity. I'm not asking for a donation. This project is viable with an IRR of 30% and profitable in year two. Last year, I came here, and we asked for uh, $4 million. Uh, and uh, being at this conference, I met a couple of key partners, like a Fortune 10 organization that's committed 950 k to the project, and the U.S. Overseas Private Investment Corporation, which is uh, putting up the debt. So we're still looking for a million dollars of, of equity, but really, the cash is only one small part of it. What I'm interested in is the human capital and you people joining with me to make a huge difference, to save forests, save lives. I mean, really, there's an incredible opportunity. So who wants to quit their fracking job and join me? Yes, hands up. Daniel's with me. Well, a few other. That's great. So thanks a lot to Fortune. It's been a great opportunity to be here last year and to come back. Many thanks. Peter, thank you very much.